Hello and welcome to another video. It's good to see that Nissan, I think this is the next Z version of it. Uh, it's going to be coming in manual, which is great because we know that manual isn't dying. Well, okay, man, technically it is dying, but some brands still kind of like not wanting to kill it off because people like me still enjoy driving manuals. So the only major brands I can think on top of my head is Honda with the SI and the Type R and their Civic hatchbacks. Those are still uh, manuals. The Mazda Miatas are still manuals. Um, the Subarus, the BRZs, the WRXs, those are all still manual and Crosstrack um, as well. And uh, what else What else can I think of on top of my head? I think Porsche is still making some vehicles that are manual as well. Um, the only one I can't think is I don't think Kia makes manual vehicles or a Hyundai. I think you know, Hyundai does make manuals. They make the, the Veloster and uh, Mitsubishi. Obviously, they're not making sports cars anymore. They're into all that hybrid piece of shit um, crap or just straight up SUVs or CRVs, which is, I don't know. It's whatever. And Ford, obviously Ford, uh, what is it? Chevy, uh, they're still manual cars, like the Camaro and the Mustang, obviously. Uh, what else that I can think of? Uh, I don't know. There might be a couple of different other brands that are still making manual vehicles, but uh, I'm, I'm happy to see that the next Z or the 400Z or whatever it is, it's still gonna be a manual vehicle. And um, I'm, I'm kind of curious on what it's going to look like. Here's a little a teaser. Teaser, teaser, teaser. That seems to be but who knows? Like, with any new cars, I suggest waiting at least a few years because when you buy the first generation, you usually have issues with um, all the tech that's inside. Usually, like, it's going to have issues with, I don't know if it's going to have all that sensing crap, like the front, the sides, and all that. I don't know. New cars usually just have a lot more issues, especially with the technology that they put on new cars lately. So I suggest just waiting. That's one lesson I learned from Scotty Kilmer. Yes. Anyway, um, we'll see what happens. V6, presumably 450 horsepower. 400 horsepower 350 pounds of torque uh, oh who knows i think maybe it's using the infinity one of the infinity engines but who knows i don't know i'm just excited i like cars all types of different brands and cars but anyway this is somewhat unbiased i hope you enjoy this video and make sure to like and subscribe and let me know your opinions all right have a good one